Welcome guys to vlog 31 and we are here at the Alamo. church remodeled and in something by US Army in 1850 used for storage new upper vacate added gunpowder stored in side room we're the outside Wagon of the Alamo scale this is the side of the Alamo we'll be walking inside we cannot record inside the Alamo though the Texans, they used this Alamo as a fort during the battle. This entire place, the Texans were protecting. The fort, which is the Alamo. Santa Ana. Santa Ana. He was, he became the president of Mexico at the time, right? Yes. And he invaded here, Texas, where all the Texans lived, and the Texans didn't like that. So they all defended the Alamo, and they were out outnumbered. By 25 to 1. 25 to 1. It's kind of like an idea, just to get an idea. Yeah. So they were defeated. So the story says that when Santa Ana what was uh he he said not to leave in texas alive or what was that idea that you learned in school? uh it was something i remember it was something about like the quarter like the quarter act or something where it was like leave no prisoners or take no prisoners and uh, kill them all yeah so that's what he did he killed all the texans that were left alive when they surrendered they killed them all they got all the bodies right here in this plaza they got they gathered them all the bodies here at the plaza and they burned them all now there is a theory huh? the most popular or famous person from the battle is davy crockett some people believe he died here at the alamo but some other people believe that he survived and he died somewhere else yes from like old age according to us here in texas uh david crockett's remains are in a church not too far from here we're going to try to see if we can walk over there uh, take a look at his grave where they have his remains unfortunately we cannot record inside the Alamo no recording no videotaping is allowed inside the Alamo but we are going to walk around the Alamo that is allowed to record and to take pictures 
So we're gonna go through that wall right behind you, that gate. And there's this part of the uh, original Alamo right here. It's just uh, fixed up a little because the Alamo had no roof. Everything was blown away. Just the front side of the Alamo is what really remained. It was kept. The uh, rest of it, it's brand new. This wall is it's, it's original. Part of it is original. And um, as you can see, this is when the heart of San Antonio, downtown San Antonio. Part of where I'm filming right now, it is where the Alamo used to be. And there's our beautiful flag of Texas right there. Okay, Angela, what does the flag of Texas mean? What is, what are the, what does the star mean? The star, the reason there's only one star is because Texas considers itself as a lone star state. There you go. Look, there's a statue of David Crockett over there, so let's go over there. Swing by. Okay, that's the famous David Crockett. The one who said that he, he had died in the Battle of the Alamo. You'll probably see him his shows, black and white, for many, many, many years. And um, they say that his remains are actually in the church way back over there. But you never know. Some people say he died here. Some people say he didn't die here. So that's David Crockett right there. He was famous for his raccoon hat, and uh, you all seen his shows and and uh, everything on on TV, right? Now let's go to the Alamo. Let's go. Now this is the Alamo. Unfortunately, we are not allowed to record or take pictures in here. So yeah, we can only be outside. Let's go this way. I wonder what's over here. Could be anything. Oh. This is the Alamo Well. It's very old. I mean, very, very old. Still exists. I was giving out money. Not water, but money. There's a whole bunch of money in there. A lot of people will be throwing dollars and coins, making wishes. Dollars, coins, pesos. Well, this is the part of the Alamo that still like exists, and this is what it looks like before. It used to be a church. The, the Alamo used to be like a mission, right? Kind of like a, a church where the uh, where the uh, they used to uh, practice the religion. So this is part of the Alamo. Unfortunately, we cannot go in there. It's like a little museum. But we cannot record or take pictures out there. This is a model of what the Alamo used to look like, I believe. Exactly. You guys notice there's no roof in the Alamo? That's how it ended up. So the roof that is in the Alamo right now is actually modern. There's a lot of things that they build here at the Alamo. Like uh, there's a library and then there's a gift shop of course that it's all brand new yeah i don't think Modern. they had gift shops here when it was a church no see all of this is all brand new it wasn't here all the statues flags and all this they were, they're all brand new there used to be some cannons there and there and there so now they put a couple of statues in there this building wasn't here. This is modern. And then there's a library way in the back and it's modern also. The only thing left was the Alamo without a roof. It was all beat up. So let's take, let's take a walk over there. There's some fishes over there. Fishes? Yeah. This is the Alamo gift shop. It looks kind of old, 
because that's the way they designed it. The rocks are here in San Antonio. If you build a house, there's actually houses like this built with this type of material and they look like this. Oh, it makes it look old. Here's uh, where I said the fish are. I don't see any fish. You know that a fish is fishing, fishing? You don't see the fish? Come on. This one. We oh. can we can actually see it. It's like an orange. It's like a Look, toy fish. This is how it used to be. This is how they used to camp. There is one of the cannons. Cannons are finally back. I remember when I used to bring your sister here from school. And every time people could come and visit us. First thing we would do would take them over to the Alamo. So we got a, we kind of got tired of the Alamo. Because every person who would come and visit us would bring them to the Alamo. Have you ever been here before, Angela? I believe so. You have? Were you brought here by your school? Mm, no, I think you guys brought me here. We brought you, not to school. It's really nice. It's a peaceful place. Even though many, many people died here. I don't want to be here at night. So I'm pretty sure. Yeah. It's, people say it's haunted. Yeah. So this is this is the back. We're actually in the back of the Alamo. Yeah. Yep. We're in the back of the Alamo right here. This is the back of the uh, gift shop. You'll see the camping. We just went around. This is how they used to camp back then. We're on the back of the Alamo, and that roof is was not there. Still modern. It's modern. So I guess, from what I see, the cannons used to be pointing out of that roof right there, this way, because the Mexican soldiers were coming from that side. Nice. And you gotta watch out because these cactuses are. Here's not the fish that I was talking about. Over here? Over here. There we go. Oh, yeah. Some fishies. Yeah. We've been here for a long time. Ooh. That's the library I was talking about. That's modern. That's all modern. It's not new. Also, if you come here, try not to touch anything metal or uh, it like is rock. Hot. Hot. Burning hot. Burning hot. Like always. It's 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 hot here in San Antonio. Just in general, it's hot. If you want to get a first degree burn, touch the metal for like five seconds. Yeah. It's beautiful. It's peaceful. This would be like a nice place to just sit around and eat lunch or something so this is the Alamo this is where the battle was this really, is part of it this is the back side of the Alamo really what's left of it because what's well, yeah no. you're right what's left of it but it's really it's really a peaceful place it's nice but it's always hot when it gets cold here in San Antonio, it gets cold. Well, Texas, it makes no sense. In the summer, in spring, and fall, it's always hot. But in the winter, it's extremely, extremely cold. How can one state be really, really cold and really, really hot at one time? Look, they have the cannons upside down now. What the heck? Where? where? Over there. Those what? cannons used to be on the other side. They have them upside down now. Why? 
That's so disrespectful. To get maybe get a better angle or view. No. They put some statues over there and they move the cannons. Why would they do that? Whose idea was this to put the cannons upside down? No bueno. We don't like it like that. Ooh. Ooh. Look at this. It's kind of fresh in here. Not, not nice cool. and cool. And beautiful. This is the library I was talking about. We are on the side of the Alamo now. This place is awesome. This wasn't here. This is brand new. There's dark Yeah. You are here. Wow. What does it say? Um, here. Palisade Cannon. This bronze four-pounder cannon is a replica of an Al Alamo battle cannon. This cannon was likely cast in Mexico City during the mid, late, mid to late 1700s and transported to, into Spanish Texas. The cannon was brought to San Antonio in 1773 by the Spanish army after the Presidio? Something like that. I guess it is real. Los uh, Adais? Uh, I don't know. Nice. City or state or whatever. Was closed. Small, can small cannons similar to this were used in forts and missions throughout Texas. The carriage the cannon sits on is a... I can't read that because it has Bird poop. poop on it. <laughs> I think it's just typical of those found at forts and in, and in the hold of ships. Its narrow profile and small wheels allow the cannon to fit into small spaces and to be moved around with just a few men. Wow. Cannon details. Caliber 4-pounder. Weight 475 pounds for this little thing. Length 48... It doesn't say what. This is the plaza of the Elmo. There used to be a bunch of stores here. Yeah, it used to be at Ripley's, believe it or not, over in the corner, and a whole bunch of other stuff, gift shops. I guess they're doing some remodeling. And over there, Angelo, you see that? Those I'm bricks? not sure if you're able to. Let me see if I'm able to. Way over there, there's a couple of bricks. Let's go over there. There's some bricks. Couple of stone bricks. Part of a wall. This used to be part of the Alamo. Part of the wall of the Alamo. Right here. So from there to all the way here, this is how this big is part of the original wall of the Alamo. Alamo used to be all the way over here. It's crazy how big this it place shows was. you right there. The Alamo in 1836. Wow! See all of this. All of this. And the and so we are like here's the Alamo. Yeah, we are like right here. So the Alamo wall used to be like, we parked like right here and in the middle of the street right here, there's no wall. It's just a street. It goes like this. There are stars marked on the street where it shows you where the wall of the Alamo used to be. Yeah. And then there's this street. Just that. that used to be a street, but it's closed now. The one from here right here and this is the Alamo without a roof and this is where we went in we went around to the back to the new construction the new stuff that they have it's pretty cool don't forget to like and subscribe and hit this bell that's right here that is right and we see you on vlog 32 I hope you enjoyed have a good day or night
What? Whatever. I don't know. Yeah. Have okay. a good rest of the day. Bye. See y'all. Go. We are. <sighs> no. Welcome, guys. Vlog. Yeah. Go. What? Oh. Oh. What do you want me to say? To okay, that's the famous baby. Yeah. yeah. Um. It's burning hot. It's burning hot. Well, no, I mean, it's not. Excuse if you me. Here, obviously not.